Going live in five, four, three, two, one. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, it's Rebecca Yates, your news anchor from WCTN News. I'm live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where the Declaration of Independence has just been signed by 56 signees. The youngest, Edward Rudolich, and the oldest, Benjamin Franklin. Among the others were Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. There is much controversy on this document. It contains such things as unfairness to the colonists and our God-given rights. Now, you think most people would agree with that, but actually it's not true. Some people are still loyal to the king. It also explains why the colonies want independence, because of all the unfairness and taxes going on from the king. It also includes our goals and ideals of our nation. They plan to send it to King George soon, and I will update you when that happens. Now, we're going to go straight to Thomas Jefferson, one of the primary authors, and see what he thinks about the writing of this amazing document. I've never considered a difference of opinion in politics, in religion, in philosophy, as cause for withdrawing from a friend. Thank you, Thomas Jefferson. Now, do you think that this document is a very good document, or do you think it has flaws? Yes, but nothing is perfect. I see. Now we go straight to Benjamin Franklin to speak with him about the Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin? By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Do you think this document will fail? No. So you're pretty sure that it'll work? Yes. Well, that makes us happy. Was it hard to get everyone to sign it and agree on one thing? Very. Thank you for speaking to us today. That's all we have time for tonight, folks. See you later.